There's a big surprise pertaining to the RSI Zeus as well as the monthly reports. We got lots to cover. Let's talk. Before we get into the video, I'd like to let y'all know that I'm doing a giveaway for the Drake Cutter. In order to participate, all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between now and the end of September. Let's continue. Before we get into the monthly report, we've just gotten a roadmap roundup update uh pertaining to um the p.24 dot x branch okay so the big reveal is cig is going to be releasing the zeus um cl as well as the zeus es in uh 3.24 um build so which is going to be uh either 3.24.1 or 3.24.2 patch essentially uh the patch um in which the citizen con event will be occurring on okay so yeah so that's the big news um super excited uh to uh finally see the zeus in the pu so initially this was uh intended for starts in alpha 4.0 so my guess is that uh they intend to put uh uh the zeus um to go live in people in uh 3.24 uh dot x patch and then um star citizen alpha 4.0 will probably hit ptu um during citizen con probably will be one of the big announcements for citizen con is them giving us either a tech preview or a ptu access to um star citizen alpha 4.0 in which we will actually have access to um the polaris at that point which would allow them to check uh those three ships off their list because they did promise to be dropping them in 2024 so now let's go into the august monthly report very interesting stuff we're gonna go straight into it okay so a big shout out to the pipeline discord channel for summarizing this lengthy report so um we don't have to fully read through all of it okay so um, the very first section is going to be AI tech. It says uh, AI tech continue to improve how MPC transition between servers, including serialized movement requests and navigation under AI content. It says the team met with designers of an upcoming mission to provide support for some of the locations that will be visited by players. Aside from outlining behavior improvements and needs for Star Citizen, 1.0 narrative design kick off several initiatives to determine the required tech and use cases for future social spaces interesting they did do a social episode in the recent in one of the most recent inside star citizen episodes and it was actually pretty cool so really excited about that under animation it says gameplay animation continue to work on selection of creatures previously seen in teaser videos alongside improving the creature already in the pu so that's going to be the space cow it looks like um i believe that's uh, intended to drop with the uh, star citizen alpha 4.0 so can't wait to see those it continues to say uh, they are so progressed with an unannounced addition that the team is looking forward to seeing in game interesting so that addition is that going to be a creature we'll have to see probably maybe a space will i don't know maybe we might see a space will in orison let's see under art character it says uh character art continued working on utility and specialized armors really excited for those um under character uh concept art supports iae progressed with their ongoing exploration of fauna interesting under ship art uh, it says ship art moves several unannounced vehicles towards gray box review and others approach their lod zero and uh, final content review so that's going to be interesting i believe uh those are some of those are the zeus variants uh, co and es as well as the polaris approaching um final review as well it says here um actually this is the very next point it says worked on the rsi polaris also continued with uh the ship's exterior approaching completion so there we go under core tech it says progress uh was made on overheat mechanics with the uh, core gameplay adding support for different atmospheric temperatures and um it says here charge and drain progress too and now uh feature client side prediction to 
give uh, immediate feedback to players when they're charging or draining. Uh, this this essentially means uh, the uh, whatever you do in the PU pertaining to this um, charging and uh, and draining, it will be a lot more responsive on on your side. So that's that's actually gonna be pretty good. Uh, the team began adding logic to uh, declutter the UI, grouping uh, markers of the same type while implementation of weapon groups, uh, group presets continue. I'm really excited for the weapon groups. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I really don't like the current setup right now. If you move from, if you tr uh, transition from navigation mode to SCM, your weapon groups reset. Um, at least your, your fire groups reset and it's really annoying. So I can't wait for these weapon groups. Now pertaining to the UI uh, grouping, um, we do need more updates on the UI. I feel like the UI, there's too much clutter uh, most of the time. So what, what they also need to give us is the ability to turn off certain elements of the UI if we don't want uh, those things there. Some of, some of the UI elements are a little intrusive, I believe. So they need to tone down on that, or at least give us some options uh, to be able to turn uh, some of them off. Okay. So they continue to say the team continued progress on jump points. Uh, turbulence was uh, implemented, which will affect the flight experience within the tunnel. This progress was then made on resource network, engineering gameplay, and life support. Core gameplay implements a behavior for critical components which will replace the existing soft death mechanic when live only certain items like power plants will trigger an explosion or soft death when destroyed the engineering screen was polished while a new room selection ui was added for life support engineering gameplay is going to be a huge change to the pu cannot wait for uh, to finally see this in the pu actually um, under economy, it says economy teams uh, spent the month getting uh, closer to uh, uniting all their work into a cohesive economy, considering of ships, items, mission, fuel, consumables, um, freelancing, career, and more. Uh, progress was also made on the economy set up for Pyro. Um, under graphics, VFX programming and Planet Tech, it says for global illumination support was added for high gloss uh, uh, specular reflection, which builds on the previous rough specular work. Uh, the team also added live updates to GPU, ray tracing acceleration structure, and begun work on improvements to transparent objects. For Planet Tech V5, the team focused on enhancing terrain performance through a compute shader driven pipeline that caches materials um, attributes to reduce a redundant completion one of the things i think i think cig should showcase um this citizen con is planet tech v5 to, just to give us some insight on what um they will actually look like i don't think they actually showed us what planet tech v5 will look um i believe the weather could probably be a part of it but we'll have to see Next is lighting. It says lighting team continue to support multiple areas of development, including pyro space stations, acidic caves. Under location, it says the landing zone team progressed with task force alpha 4.0, including adding new areas and additional polish to uh, pyro space stations. The location team pressed forward with ground bases, moving the initial modules from gray box. Improvements were also made to several new location types coming with Pyro. Really exciting stuff. Under mission design, the mission team continued to work on repair location missions and are targeting three main gameplay elements for the initial release. Charge and drain, charging device that uses battery for operation, replace components, replacing fuses and relays, repair pipe, fixing damaged pipes using RMC very interesting can't wait to see this type of gameplay in the pu under narrative it says narrative continue to work on unannounced mission content that will be coming to stanton and pyro interesting stuff all right guys uh that is your monthly report for the pu you guys let me know what excites you the most in regards to everything that we just spoke about let me know in the comments down below before 
Alayigo, I'd like to let y'all know that my organization, Phase One Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you are interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.